What it do, what it do, what it do. It is gaming obs here. <laughs> Anyways, hope everybody's having a fantastic day today. I'm having a fantastic weekend. Um, oh, got the NTS National Truck Staffing Advertisement. If you're a truck driver, go to them. Look them up online. They get you a job. I can't say it will pay, you know, twenty, thirty dollars an hour, but we'll get you. Anyways, I'm here. We're gonna look at something. Um, apparently there's something that women are doing, because I don't see men doing this shit. But apparently women are doing some weird, wacky stuff. Um <laughs> because apparently no man in their life has actually taught them anything. So And this isn't a shot to women as a whole. I see some really good women out there. It's just some of y'all have issues. <laughs> so let's see what the hell y'all doing today. Turn to a new warning for tourists. That's ahead of summer vacation. Yellowstone National Park has issued a new alert after several incidents that put both wildlife and people in danger. Trevor Alt has the story. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning, George. You know, when you enter a national park, you're usually going to see some kind of signage that requests people respect the nature and respect the wildlife. But Yellowstone officials actually say lately there have been so many egregious actions they were compelled to release a public statement urging visitors not to put themselves or the animals in danger. Before we even go, go on, I know damn well that see this is bad when the National Park people have to put out a statement because y'all don't know how to act. Because y'all didn't learn anything in, in, in the grade school when we was learning about animals and wild animals and how they operate and how they move. Like, y'all didn't learn nothing in school. That is crazy. Let's listen. Let's, 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 let's keep going. After a string of frightening close encounters at Yellowstone National... I knew it was going to be a woman. Which I'm looking, looking, and this, these are like men over here. So let's go cower behind the men because your dumb ass decides to go and try to pet a bison. What? Okay, listen. Okay, I'm a man, and if I saw something like that, there ain't no way in hell I wouldn't even be within two miles of this animal. There is no way in hell. But they got balls of steel to go up there and try to pet something. Listen. Let me explain something to y'all because I think I really do truly feel that women don't have like a sense of danger at all. They just go out and do shit <laughs> just for the hell of it. They're kind of like those bugs. You can literally have like a, one of those bug zappers and women literally are these bugs that will literally go to the light and get zapped because they just, they ain't, they didn't learn nothing. <laughs> I don't get this. What in the hell? Okay, this first off, this thing has horns. Me personally, I don't have to go to school to know that, hey, you know what? That big ass creature that's bigger than me, that looks heavier than me, has horns. Uh yeah, I'm not gonna approach it. Hell, I don't even approach we was um I was traveling somewhere in this area and I saw these cows that had these big ass horns. I don't know what they're called. I guess they're longhorns. But I wouldn't even go near. I don't know nothing about that. But I sure the hell wouldn't be going now anywhere near them. With horns? i never even seen a cow. Or... Actually, I've never seen a cow have horns. And these were big-ass horns. But again, I'm smart enough as a C student to know that, yes, I don't know nothing about that. But I do know not to get close by. Now, they may not do. They may be harmless. And maybe their horns are just there for aesthetics, for, um, hold on, let me get, let me do something, for like mating and stuff. There we go. But there ain't no way in the hell I'm going to be, I don't even give a fuck. I am not going near an animal that have horns because I know that I'm going to get gored. Listen, we lit, okay, we watched cartoons back in the 90s, okay? I saw Bugs Bunny. Literally, um, 
messing with the damn uh 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 bulls and stuff. And he he got charged. What do you think? Come on, I'm watching cartoons. No, oh yeah, I ain't getting near them things. I already know what they're gonna do. This these women, I don't know what the hell. But I didn't see men do this. I sure didn't see men do this. National Park. After a string of frightening close encounters yeah. at Yellowstone National Park, this morning park officials are urging tourists to respect and protect the animals, saying in a statement some actions by visitors have led to the endangerment of people and wildlife. And you know the sad thing about this? This is something that women don't even understand. Had that bison been a baby bison, you all, and, I, and I'm just letting y'all know, especially if there's women watching, that just like you want to protect your children, those animals are going to protect their children as well. That could have been a, a barely baby bison. I don't know. It could have been. That had a mother in the background. And you know what would have happened? That mother would have charged that woman, killed her, and then the National Park Service would have had to put down that uh, bison. When I say put her down, that means kill the bison. Because it killed a human being. And y'all don't, y'all, you all don't even understand either that a lot of animals you do not need to be touching. Because there is something called, I don't, I don't know which animals there is, but I know that there's a group of animals that if you touch the baby, the mother actually rejects the baby. And when that happens, that baby is not going to survive. So then the National Park Service has to put down the damn baby. Because the mother rejected it. Because it has scent that it can't recognize. That's the reason why they have to make these stupid, I mean, these statements. They are stupid statements because it's stuff that we innately as human beings should already know. Don't go out messing with wildlife unless you're ready to suffer the consequences, right? But you also shouldn't be messing with the smaller animals, right? It's like you don't want nobody messing. When, if you give birth to a child, I'm pretty sure you don't want random ass people in a hospital holding your baby, right? You just gave birth to this baby. You don't want random ass people holding your baby. So think about that when you're dealing with animals. I'm just saying. And resulted in the death of wildlife. Because of things like social media, a lot of people have lost a bit of common sense. And now he's saying a lot of people. It ain't really a lot of people, it's a lot of women. Because I've only seen women do this shit. I have not seen men going up unless they're ready to battle this uh, animal. It's only women doing this. Don't be talking about people. It's just women doing this crap because they got to be social. They're social media lights and all this other crap. And don't give the space and respect these creatures need. And they put themselves and the animals in serious danger. Authorities are now and other people now investigating tourists who they say this Memorial Day weekend grabbed a baby elk and took it inside their car to the police station. And last month, a man from Hawaii now charged with intentionally disturbing wildlife was seen moving a newborn bison after it was separated from its mother. Yellowstone Park Rangers were forced to euthanize the calf when they couldn't reunite it with the. I stand corrected. We do have some dumbass people. <laughs> we got men doing this shit. Why the hell would you go off to see a newborn bison and go over there and met? I wouldn't. I stand corrected. It's not women. It's men just doing this shit too. I don't know what the hell's wrong with y'all. Y'all didn't learn shit in college or high school. It's really bad. Y'all didn't learn nothing in college, but y'all didn't learn nothing. And you know what's funny? He looked like somebody that goes around hunting. He should know this as a hunter, that when it comes to certain things, that certain things is off limit. Matter of fact, if I recall, as a hunter, you can't even kill baby uh, deer. They have to be like a certain type of deer. And you can only kill like, kill like I don't know, there's like a lot of rules. And I don't mess with it. I don't know. Y'all know more about that than I do. So we got men. So it's just, so they are right. It is people. I've seen more women doing this shit. Where they actually intentionally try to get hurt. People, what do y'all leave these animals alone? Stop worrying about what these animals are doing. If you see a baby bird on the ground and it's yapping, leave it alone. 
because you don't know what's going on. You don't know that that the mother probably dropped the baby bird because it's trying to get it to fly. And it won't fly. So the mother's like, hmm, okay, you don't want to fly? Let me drop you down on the ground. You'll learn to fly. Leave them alone. They, animals don't become messing with y'all. Because I guarantee you, if there's a bunch of animals that decided to come over and start attacking y'all, then y'all y'all have something to say then, right? Animals don't, don't mess with us. We need to stop messing with animals. The herd. If you're getting in the way, not only could you get injured, could the animal get injured or in trouble, but you're actually impeding or hurting their chances for survival. Thank you. We're also seeing a lot of videos like this. A Yellowstone tourist taking us. I'm going to stand corrected again. So let me rephrase what I just said. So men are just basically trying to help, thinking that they're helping. So they're dealing with the babies. You got women out here trying to take pictures of a damn bison. I don't know what the fuck is wrong. I can, t I can tell you right now, she's not from that area. Because that bison literally is like just chilling out, eating. That's freaking crazy to me see this is a one I, I can tell you she ain't got no man there ain't no way in here selfie next to a bison which experts warn is seriously risky behavior there you go keep going last year this woman at a texas national park tried sneaking by a bison oh, no, no. she was gored in the back and spent six days in the hospital Experts say Good. always have a plan of exit if a bison gets too close, but of course the best plan is to always maintain a safe distance of 75 to 100 feet. You don't know. Yeah, fuck that. How about a mile to two miles? Listen, I, I, I'm telling you, women are just, women are not very bright. I will say that. At least with the guy who's dealing with a baby, which a baby ain't going to do nothing to you, but... Uh, this woman thought she she's gonna try to do uh she was trying to do <laughs> she try, she playing video games because you know in video games you could do that shit sneak behind them you can't do that shit in real life because animals got these things called ears that they can hear they can hear your ass coming two miles away so <laughs> she got go so I guess the lesson from here is what did she learn from this did, I think she learned you know I probably don't want to go out to mess with bison anymore. Like, I would have gone the opposite direction and then made a, a super detour. But she was trying to sneak sneak like a ninja past a bison that was probably no more than 25 feet away from her. Again, I don't know what y'all doing out here, but y'all trying to get... Y'all trying to... Y'all really bison. are trying to die. But all those accidents are completely avoidable. Yeah. And look, nobody wants Stay to discourage visiting there. national parks. We all know they are amazing. The bottom line, though, from Yellowstone, if a wild animal is near your campsite, near your trail, or really any developed area, leave it alone and give it space. Rebecca? Great advice, Trevor. Thank you. What is wrong with y'all? y'all Are y'all, like, bored? Are you like, I'm telling you, become a gamer. Spend, because y'all are spending at least probably two, $3,000 going to these national parks anyway. Spend that money and get you a gaming P PC. You can get you a, a um, RTX 4090. That's the most expensive. That's actually about probably about 1500 2000 anyway. But spend your money on a gaming PC and game. Do the things that you want to do in the games. Stop going out here in real life thinking that you're Superman, Superwoman. I, I, listen, if y'all don't want to live, cool. Just make sure that on your life policy, go ahead and put my name, Gaming Ops. That way when you die, I can get your money, and then I can take your money and actually do something productive with it. Anyways, y'all leave these animals alone, and, they'll, and then they'll leave you alone. I'm out of here. Y'all take care. Peace.